The days of summer are dwindling to a precious few. Mike Stevens in the PhotoLink Library recalls how it all began. Summer comes in on the coattails of spring, a welcome, sometimes subtle newcomer with its own calling card. Here's one Cheryl Moss found in Kogan Station. Richard Leibert saw the next step in the march of summer through his yard in Eagle's Mirror. Time does move on, does it not? Before long, the murmur of early summer becomes a distinct song played by many, as here caught by Beverly Rakovic of Tamaqua. The sunny days come one after the other, bringing spots of color. Here's one from Cindy Broadhead in Hawley. A whole field full of color here from Joanna Brandt. A singular model lending itself to a pose for an early morning portrait captured by Lisa Blaine. In summer, you never really know what the next day will bring, though it'll probably look nice and end on the same note as Ashley Wilson found. To storm or not to storm, a question often asked to the summer sky as Connie Garcia of Lake Ariel did. The same question here, Marsha Long saw it along Route 901 in Barry Township. Mostly though, the summer does all right by us. Vacations, warm nights, warmer days, and color. Color everywhere. Karen O'Dell has some in Scranton. Dino Langus has some in his Elysburg backyard. Marigolds brighten the backyard of Janet Palladino in Hughestown. Color by the handful in the last rose of summer from Geraldine Reed of Montrose. Water lilies on the water at Beltsville Lake from Barbara Lewis. The beauty of summer. A treat for the eye, for sure. Summer may be fading, but it isn't gone yet. There are still more scenes like the one Jackie Lewis found near Leck Kill in Northumberland County. Look for your own, and when you see one, save it and send it on in to the PhotoLink Library. See you next time. I'm Mike Stevens.